Hi, Jarees. How are you? God bless you. This is Pastor Nick. Um, I apologize for not making this video sooner. Uh, and I would have made it as a Facebook Live video, but unfortunately, I've been uh, suspended for making Facebook Live videos for a month. So I'm making this with my phone. I'm shooting with my camera phone. And this is what I wanted to share with you a while ago. So I'm going to share the gospel with you first in this video, and then I can uh, make another video to help you with your ex. Um, but really being a Christian is very, very simple. It's about putting your full faith or trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. As you see here in John 20, 31, this is in the New Testament, the last of the four gospel accounts. Uh, right at the end of the gospel according to John, the gospel according to John is 21 chapters long. This is right. This is the last verse in the 20th chapter. So that's right before the last chapter in that book. And this is what the apostle John wrote, who was Jesus' closest apostle. He wrote, but these are written so that you may continue to believe. So everything written in the gospel according to John was written that we would continue to believe that Jesus is the Messiah or the Christ, you know, Jesus Christ, um, the Son of God, and that by believing in him, you have life by the power of his name. So if you believe in Jesus and that name, if you trust in that name for your salvation, you will have life. You'll have eternal life. You'll be saved from hell, from eternal damnation, from the lake of fire. And I'm going to show you that in a little bit. So that's John 20, 31. And I'll send you these scriptures. So I'm going to scroll down. Now, you've heard the word gospel. That means good news. And this is where we find what the gospel is. It's in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 1 through 4. So after the gospel according to John, you have the book of Acts, then the book of Romans, then 1 Corinthians. Okay? And this is what it says in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 1 through 4, which Paul. this is what Paul describes as the gospel. Let me now remind you, dear brothers and sisters, of the good news I preached to you before. You welcomed it then, and you still stand firm in it. It is this good news that saves you if you continue to believe the message I told you. Unless, of course, you believe something that was never true in the first place. I passed on to you what was most important and what had also been passed on to me. Christ died for our sins, just as the scripture said. He was buried, and he was raised from the dead on the third day, just as the scripture said. So, you have to believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Messiah, God's anointed Savior, the Redeemer of the world, and the Son of God, and that he died for your sins. He died on the cross to pay the penalty for your sins, because when we sin, that's like a crime against God. So a penalty has to be paid, and Jesus took the penalty on, that we deserved on himself on the cross, which is God's wrath. And he was buried, which proved that he died, and then he rose from the dead to make us right with God. And if we believe that, if we trust that and continue to believe that and continue to trust Jesus and have a living relationship with him, we will be saved from hell and the lake of fire and given eternal life. Okay, so the next series of scriptures, this is found in Romans chapter 3, verses 21 through 29. And again, the book of Romans is, it goes, John, Acts, Romans. So it says this. But now God has shown us a way to be made right with him without keeping the requirements of the law, as was promised in the writings of Moses and the prophets long ago. We are made right with God by placing our faith in Jesus Christ. And this is true for everyone who believes, no matter who we are. So no matter what your color is, what your ethnicity is, what country you're from, whether you're Jewish or not Jewish, uh, Jewish people are the, peop are, are the same people that Jesus belonged to, okay? And there who wrote the Bible for the most part, that's Jesus was fully God and fully man when he walked the earth. And as a human, he was Jewish. So no matter who you are, and the Apostle Paul who wrote this was also Jewish, this message is for you. And you can be made right by placing your faith in Jesus, no matter where you come from. For everyone is sin, meaning we've all committed sins against God. We've all done the wrong things, bad things, things that displease God, crimes against God. We've all lied, we'd all stolen, no matter the value, no matter how small the value. We've all lusted after someone of the same sex or an opposite sex. We've all, which is adultery according to Jesus. We've all hated people, which is murder according to the Apostle John. We've gossiped about people, slandered people. So we've all sinned. We've all done bad things. 
And we all fall short of God's glorious standard, which is perfection. In order to go to heaven, you have to be perfect. The problem is you and I are not perfect. We're sinners. So that's why Jesus came. He came to die for it, to live the life we couldn't live. He lived a perfect life. He never broke any of God's laws, any of God's rules. And he went to the cross like he was a criminal, like he was a sinner on our behalf. And he took the punishment for our sins on the cross. And he, he was buried and then he rose from the dead. And those of us who trust that will have eternal life, okay? Yet God in his grace, grace means unmerited favor, meaning God saves us even though we don't deserve it. Freely makes us right in his sight. He did this through Christ Jesus when he freed us from the penalty for our sins. That's what I was talking about. The penalty for our sins you're going to see later is death. The wages of sin is death. And I'm going to touch on that scripture in a little bit. And death means you go to hell if you die without getting your sins forgiven. For God presented Jesus as the sacrifice for sin. People are made right with God when they believe that Jesus sacrificed his life shedding his precious blood. This sacrifice shows that God was being fair when he held back and did, I would say, gracious instead of fair, but that's what this says, punish those who sinned in times past. For he was looking ahead and including them in what he would do in this present time. God did this to demonstrate his righteousness, for he himself is fair and just, and he makes sinners right in his sight when they believe in Jesus. So, we've sinned, we've fallen short of God's standard, we can't get to heaven unless we believe in Jesus. If you trust in Jesus... You put your faith in Jesus. You have a relationship with Jesus. How do you? Ha which means you pray to Jesus, you speak with Jesus, which proves you've trusted in him, you'll be saved. So it's not about doing good things, but if you've trusted in Jesus, you've trusted in his death on the cross to pay the penalty for your sins, and that he rose from the dead to give you eternal life and to save you from hell and the lake of fire. If you trust in that, that will be shown by how you live your life. So the good things you do, praying to the Lord, praying to Jesus, praying to the Father, praying to the Holy Spirit, because we believe God is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and doing the best you can to be helpful to people, you know, reading the Bible, praying, um, doing other things, and I can help you with that. But you're saved by trusting in Jesus, but then the evidence that you've trusted in Jesus as your Lord and Savior is that you do good things. You seek to obey him. He said, if you love me, you'll keep my commands. You'll do the things I, I commanded you to do, which are found in the New Testament. And God did this to demonstrate his righteousness, for he himself is fair and just, and he makes sinners right in his sight when they believe in Jesus. Okay, so we're going to move on from there. Now, the next one is Ephesians chapter 2, verses, and I'm going to send you these scriptures. So even if you can't read them on my phone, that's fine. I'm going to send them to you. I'm reading them so you'll know what I'm talking about when you see them. When I send them to you, God saved you by his grace. Remember, saved you means save you from hell and the lake of fire when you believed. And you can't take credit for this, meaning you don't deserve salvation. You do nothing to earn salvation. It is a gift from God. Salvation, which means to be saved, to be rescued from God's wrath, which is hell and the lake of fire, is not a reward for the good things we have done. So none of us can boast about it. For we are God's masterpiece. He has created us anew in Christ Jesus so we can do the good things he planned for us long ago. So what these are saying is that we're saved by God's grace. We're saved by simply trusting in Jesus. But those of us who trust in Jesus, God has prepared ahead of time good things for us to do. So once you trust in Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you believe he died for your sins, you believe he rose from the dead to make you right with God, to save you from hell and the lake of fire and to give you eternal life. Once you believe that and you live that way, then God has good things for you to do, okay? Help people in need, feed the poor, take care of the needy, share about Jesus with people, tell people about Jesus. Those are good things. So that's what this is talking about. Now, this is what I was talking about before. For the wages of sin is death. So we've earned death by sinning. When you sin, that brings death to a person. Sin brings death. But the free gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ or Christ Jesus our Lord. So when you trust in Jesus, you go from spiritual death to spiritual life. You were spiritually dead before you trusted in Jesus then. And, and the, the wages of sin is death, which is hell. So think of hell as a jail. You go to jail, right? And think of the lake of fire. That's life in prison without the possibility of parole. So hell is where you go awaiting being cast into the lake of fire at the final judgment for those who don't trust in Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. So that's what this is talking about. The wages of sin is death, which is hell, and eventually the lake of fire. But the free gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Now I'm going to end this video and start up a new one. Okay?